Day five of the Erie Canal here on the Daily Wander. So we're starting our day off and the biggest noticeable change today is the weather has continued to cool off a little bit. We're probably sitting at 60 degrees right now. It's a little bit of a northeast wind so we got a little bit of a headwind as we start making our way out of Newark. So not sure how far we're going to get. I know that seems to become a standard message. But next big city or town is Syracuse, which roughly well, about 50 miles away. So we'll see. We'll see how things are going here on the canal. We'll chat with you later. All right, we find ourselves at one of the locks on the canal. They've got a nice little display of one of the old canal boats up here and kind of what it looks like. So my guess is this lock is a little different lock because they've got this staging area over here. So I am guessing this is probably a lock where they when they flood it, they're able to pull boats out of the canal and kind of store them and you can kind of see one down there. Probably works back the same. Oh, probably works exactly the same as the other ones. Just a matter of letting water in and out and letting things float or sink down, depending on what you're attempting to do. So we are now in Clyde, New York. Today's route uh, is off the actual canal because there is no path by the canal right now. So we're up on New York State Highway 31, which has been quite pleasant. Nice wide shoulder, real fast riding. But we came across this block house. And it's a replica, I guess, of the original that was here. And I guess it was probably designed for when things were going bad, you could running in there and hide out and I guess shoot at people or whatever out of the little holes, the little loopholes that are around there. Kind of a nice little thing along the way as we continue along our trip on the Erie Canal. Well, we're still off route. Following Route 31 into Port Byron or Bryan, which is coming up. And we've found the hills. Guess we got spoiled down on the canal where it's flat. Now we're grinding through all our gears, up and down and up and down. All right, as you can see, harvest is in session. So we've got a cornfield here, and it looks like they're they're in full swing here. Kind of a cool thing to see. I'll cycle up just a little bit here. ourselves back on the crushed limestone path but this time we are next to the what appears the old Erie Canal probably the original one because somewhere along the line they diverted some stuff and so you can kind of see that without maintenance and everything not a lot of water down there but this looks a lot closer to that idea of 40 feet wide and 4 feet deep. But we're away from the traffic for a little bit. So you can't hear Interstate 90 out in the distance because we're now down in that corridor. But, nice little bit. Off the road for a little bit. We're back down to that slower pace. But definitely a quieter, more relaxed time now. So we're between Port Byron and Weedsport. Guess we're gonna have to make a decision about tonight's 
eventual accommodations because after we'd sport, oh, we'd probably have to do another 20 miles, I'm guessing, before we got to the next accommodation. So I guess you'll just have to continue watching and see what happens here on the Daily Wander. It was a long day. Uh, we finally made the west side of Syracuse, so tomorrow morning we'll be able to go through on a Sunday morning, which is good for me in cities. But as we came across here, even though they've been routing us on a different way on the trail, all of a sudden we found off to our right that Erie Canal is still around. So it looks like there's a walking trail back there. Not really sure how far that goes. We'll have to check the maps a little bit later. Thanks for coming along today. It's been a good day, it's been a long day. But we got some miles in, a lot of road riding, which is fast. Until next time, thanks for coming on The Daily Wander.